The Earth has a radius of 6,371 kilometers and a weight of 5,972 yodograms, having originated from a solar nebula around 4.5 billion years ago. First things first, there are three main layers to our planet. The numbers are so impressive that it may seem as though scientists have studied every aspect of it, but this is not the case. We know a lot about what is on the surface of the Earth, but what is beneath it raises questions, and scientists use every method to find answers. Some of these questions include, what ancient planet is hidden inside ours? What sounds have scientists heard beneath the Earth's crust? Why did the deepest journey into the Earth stop? The planet's outermost layer, or crust, is the first and varies in depth from 5 to 75 kilometers. The crust's thickest layers are found on continents, while its smallest layers are found at ocean bottoms. The mantle, the next layer of the Earth's crust, is located at a depth of around 2,890 kilometers and is responsible for the plates that make up the crust moving continuously at the same pace that our fingernails grow. This layer is made up of silicate rocks that have been heated to temperatures as high as 4,000 degrees Celsius when this flaming material erupts upwards and as high as 900 degrees Celsius close to the crust. Volcanic eruptions take place in the planet's last and most enigmatic layer, which is its core, or the heart of Earth. Its radius is around 2,000 to 180 kilometers. The inner core is solid and presumably composed of iron. The outer is liquid and consists of an alloy of nickel and iron also the inner core rotates at a different speed than our planet to study the secrets of the inner layers of our planet scientists regularly take various measurements during one such seismic tomography of our planet scientists discovered something strange namely the mysterious lumps floating inside the earth's mantle some of these lumps combine to form large-scale regions the two of the largest are located under africa and under the Pacific Ocean but something else is interesting they don't just float harmlessly in the mantle of the planet but create a unique anomaly in particular we're talking about the South African anomaly which weakens the magnetic field of our planet serious changes in the magnetic field can lead to catastrophic consequences up to a change in the poles but the discovered anomaly fortunately is not so strong yet however what is the nature of its occurrence and what are these mysterious clots that give rise to it the enigmatic compounds go by the name large low shear velocity provinces or llsvps for short have existed for a very long time long before life on earth appeared many scientists propose that these are the remnants of another ancient planet that the earth once collided with according to this theory the planet thea which was roughly the size of mars moved through the solar system in a spiral pattern it is impossible to calculate how quickly the ancient protoplanet moved, but our planet ended up being its final stop. Fear struck the Earth at a 45-degree angle, which allowed our planet to withstand the impact, and only a small piece broke off. Fear plunged deeply into our planet, causing its core to merge with the Earth's core as a result. If fear had struck the Earth at a right angle or an excessively sharp angle, the result would have been a disaster that most likely would have resulted in the destruction of our planet. One revolution per five hours and a discernible rotational axis tilt in exchange for this gift, they may have chipped off a portion of Earth and taken its place. However, if you look out the window in the middle of the night, you will see the answer. Many scientists are certain that the moon was once a part of our planet and separated after the Earth and the moon collided. As a result, we experienced a change in seasons and a 24-hour day. A powerful split of the Earth's surface also occurred, provoking a chemical exchange that allowed the emergence and development of life on our planet in new conditions. The theory is bolstered by another astounding discovery made by humanity several decades ago. To understand this, let's go back to the late 1960s, when the Soviet Union became the first nation to send a person into space and the first to travel into the planet's interior. To achieve this, a massive project was developed to drill the Earth's deepest well, known as the Kola Super Deep Borehole SG-3. David German was the project's creator and committed the most of his life to it. The drilling project moved along quickly. Depending on the density of the rocks, up to 4 meters may be drilled each day. 8 hours were devoted to lowering the drilling instrument, 8 more to the actual drilling operation, and 8 more to extracting the rocks. Drilling moved along really quietly all the way to 7,000 meters. 
The drill went through homogeneous solid granites without any problems, but after reaching a depth of 7,000 meters, the drill head entered less durable bedrock. Regular accidents started to happen, but the scientists persisted in their work, and by 1983, the project had reached a depth of 12,066 meters. Immediately after the project was put on hold, a terrible accident occurred, the drill string broke off, and the scientists were forced to go back five years. It was nearly impossible for scientists to work at a depth of 12 kilometers because the temperature rose above 200 degrees and there were insufficient resources for the equipment available at the time. This mark proved to be fatal for the project every time scientists approached a depth of 12 kilometers. Strange accidents occurred, and they had to start again from a depth of 7,000. Since the main objective was to reach the mark of 15 kilometers, it was assumed that after this depth, the drilling rig would be able to reach the Earth's mantle. If this project were completed, these discoveries could literally flip over all ideas about the structure of our planet. The deepest mark that scientists have been able to descend was 12,262 meters in 1994. After another accident, the well was closed, and the scientists who directed the experiment consider it incomplete. The Soviet Union collapsed, the project was no longer funded, and now the well is sealed with a strong iron hatch, according to David Guberman himself, so that curious stalkers do not throw stones into the well. However, it cannot be said that the experiment really failed. During their work, scientists managed to obtain a huge number of samples of the Earth from different depths to confirm several theories about the hydrodynamic zonal model of the Earth's crust and also to make two amazing discoveries that are especially interesting to us. The first was overgrown with legends even before it actually happened. The Kohler experiment was widely reported in the press, and one day a Finnish newspaper published the news on April 1 that the purpose of the well was to find the entrance to hell. This humorous news was immediately picked up by American newspapers, which began to talk about it in all seriousness. As a result, a legend has spread over the planet that when the well was drilled to a depth of 14.5 kilometers, they suddenly came out into some huge empty space. The temperature in this space reached 1,100 degrees. Having lowered the microphone to this depth, the scientists recorded heart-rending human screams. The newspapers called it the screams of sinners tortured in the underworld, and years later, a supposedly real recording captured by microphones from that depth spread across the network. In fact, the story is the purest invention of a Finnish journalist, which the American media trustingly fell for, but we would not talk about this case if not for another mysterious situation that's associated with sounds. Here is a direct quote from academician Gabriel Gruberman, who oversaw the experiment, as an honest scientist, I cannot say that I know exactly what happened here, but on the one hand, the stories about the demon are rubbish. Indeed a very strange noise was recorded then there was an explosion a few days later nothing of the kind was found at the same depth but another discovery has amazed the scientific part of society as already mentioned soil materials were regularly lifted from the depth. Of the well of particular interest were the samples raised from the depth of about 3 kilometers. after a thorough study of these materials it turned out that they almost completely coincide with the materials of the soil brought by the American cosmonauts from the moon thus the theory that the moon is part of the earth which broke away after a collision with Thea became even more likely to be true and these are far from all the discoveries that were made thanks to the Kola well and analysis. Of the methods of its ultra-deep drilling helped several years ago to discover the real ocean of the Archean period by Russian, French and German scientists at a depth of 410 to 660 kilometers below the Earth a huge body of water is located under the Earth's crust and was formed under conditions of high pressure in temperatures of 1530 degrees Celsius. The water in it is enclosed in the crystalline structure of minerals and now we cannot even guess whether these minerals contain any living organisms inside them in order to find the answer to this question you'll have to take another trip to the center of the earth but unfortunately even if such a project is planned there's no data on it yet therefore for now we can only find more and more questions to which there are no answers but make sure to stay tuned here and we'll let you know when we find more answers to this and other incredible mysteries of our planet and the universe around us congratulations we are grateful to our friends for supporting us as we have hit a million subscribers what else would you want to see on our channels? Post your thoughts in the comments section.